So I recently built this setup for an air show I was going to, and I had to do some active cooling for my GoPro so it wouldn't overheat. And I thought it'd be fun to make a video on what I did and some thoughts on what I did for uh, other people that might have problems with overheating GoPros. So as you can tell, everything's kind of on right now, but I'm just going to unplug this real quick. And this video is going to be kind of uh, backwards. <laughs> Since I already have it constructed, I'm going to um, not really deconstruct it, but kind of give you a closer look at what I did and why I did it. But uh, first, I think I'll do some clips of what it sounds like in a quiet room from the perspective of the GoPro, and then clips of outdoors and ambient noise. and give you an idea of what the fan noise will sound like with this setup. Okay, well, hopefully those clips were helpful to give you an idea of what noise is like. Um, the GoPro was recording in 4K30 with image stabilization, so it did get slightly warm to the touch, but it wasn't extremely hot, and it did not overheat on me for the four hours I was recording nonstop. And one thing I did was, since this is a Hero 10 and it can be run purely off USB power, I did remove the battery, so there's currently no battery installed in this GoPro. Uh, one caveat with that is you got to make sure you have a USB power bank that can provide the power necessary to run the GoPro. I believe it requires 5 volts at 2.4 amps is what the internet was saying. Whether that's true or not, I, I don't know, I don't really care, I guess. So. I was using the Anchor Power Core uh, 10,000 and million power battery bank, and it can do power delivery at a variety of different uh, ratings. So, at 5 volt, this will do uh, 3 amps through the USB A ports. I probably would have had less to worry about if I used the USB C output instead, but I just didn't have any of the cables on hand. Um, so this is basically just a laptop fan. I don't think this particular fan came out of a laptop. It's a Sunon, or Sunon, however you want to pronounce it. There's a part number if you want to get your own of that part. Um, I chose this fan particularly because it had a wide opening and narrow. I had a couple other fans that were interesting, but they had like a small opening, like that big. So I didn't know how that would work. Because basically my goal was I wanted to blow a blade of air into this opening and then have the air being blown in displace the hot air inside and blow it out. Um, reason you'd have to use like a laptop fan versus something quieter like a Noctua is the laptop fan runs on 5 volts. Now granted with these power delivery comp uh, capable uh, battery banks as you can see, it will put out 12 volts, one half amps. Uh, the problem is you have to be able to negotiate for that rate. And I don't fully understand how power delivery negotiates. I believe it's a, an IC chip. So that, that was where my head. I just want something simple, laptop fan. And then this USB cable is literally the cable off of a Logitech mouse. It's just a dirty, crusty mouse. I wired it directly to the fan, um, basically red to red, black to black, since luckily, you know, uh, that's traditional power configuration. Um, what I ended up doing was, this is a 10 gauge piece of electrical wire, some THHN from who knows what. I kind of curved it through both holes of the fan, looped it on one end to kind of lock it into place. I have it coming out the back. 
and I looped around the USB cable because I figured the USB cable plugged into the GoPro would have some strength. And then part of the end, I just kind of hooked around my camera frame. Now, if you're using this on a tripod, you know, you could wrap this around a part of your tripod that was easily accessible. I did use a little twisty tie. Uh, I had it through the wire, I believe, like this. Um, just to kind of help give it a little extra support. I never really felt like I had to worry about it though. I bumped it a few times and it didn't budge. The things I was the most worried about was um, something getting stuck in the fan, stopping it to spin. And then what I did is probably not 100% legit. Um, I had the fan wired directly to the power bank. Um, I don't really think these are intended for motors to be directly hooked up to them like that since they're an inductive load. I tried to do some Google search stuff, but I was struggling with the right keywords. So I asked ChatGPT and if I understood correctly, ChatGPT was suggesting you put a diode across the leads, um, of the fan and then like a resistor. But I didn't have time to research that. So this was kind of one of those at my own risk things. But like, literally, it's just. And then it worked. So the battery bank never caught fire or exploded, which is the biggest thing I was worried about. Um, and it never like shut off the port or did any like overload protection of any kind. It's clearly putting out five volts because if it was putting out more than five volts. That fan would have exploded and the four hours it was running. Um, but yeah, I mean, all these parts I used, you could literally find them in the trash. I did look, there are some solutions that exist for active cooling for GoPros. Some of them were kind of ugly. Some of them looked like they're like cases that went over the whole back of the GoPro. Um, the reason I like this design that I went with, even though it's terrible looking, is because cheap, but it also wasn't in the way of anything because I still had access to my side port for the cable. And um, I don't know without looking up a teardown video, but with as hot as the screen side gets when there's no battery in this, I'm assuming they have electronics on the front and the back that are generating heat. So I think any kind of active cooling system you find for a GoPro like this, you're really going to want one that blows air into the side and basically displaces the hot air inside of the camera. So, um, yeah, hopefully that wasn't too rambly. Uh, literally though, like stuff in the trash, find an old USB mouse or keyboard, um, find a laptop that somebody threw away or might be able to find a fan out of an old projector. Um, and then this piece of electrical wire that you want to make sure it's solid core so it's rigid. I mean, you could use a piece of steel wire too. I just use this because it's easier to work with, easier to bend, and it has the nice plastic insulation so it's not going to scratch all the anodization off my aluminum. Um, but yeah. Uh, Hopefully that was useful for you. <laughs> it worked great for me, and uh, I guess that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching.